Tackle Junkies. What's going on, everyone? Really appreciate you guys and gals for clicking on the video. Bass Pro Shops Spring Classic Sale. Actually, I have a couple orders in here. I made one order, then I'm like, and how can I pass up that deal? Made another order, then I went there. So, got a few things in here. Box is already open, but you guys know we got the knife of the day. I'm on my way to work after this. So I got my work blade with me. That is the Delica 4 Warncliffe Steel is VG10. So Warncliffe Blade VG10 Steel. All right. We cut her open. We are ready to roll. All right, first order. You guys, keep in mind, if you're watching this today on Wednesday, the 27th, all right, I do know that date because today is my birthday, all right? So I might have to make another order tonight. <laughs> but the 27th, I do believe, is when the sale ends. So it ends tonight. The first order I made was for the KBD. Now, the black package, all right? Try not to get a glare on there, but you guys know we're using the ring light to get a better uh, shot there, but there is some glare. There you go. Gizzard Shad. Gizzard Shad. But uh, the black packaging, this is the Bass Pro exclusive, the rattling, okay? Do I already have any? You can see I got a bunch behind me still. This is like my go-to crankbait. But uh, I thought maybe I had one out of the package. I don't, but we'll open one so you guys can hear the, the rattle. But this is the rattling version. Got a dozen of these. And... This is not the hard knock. This is the rattling. To me, the hard knock is not a hard knock. It's more like high pitched, right? This to me is like, it's not a one knocker, but it kind of, kind of sounds like a one knocker, but it's, to me, it's deeper, right? That hard knock is, is more of a high pitch. Didn't care for it. This is my go-to. I really don't throw the silent. I love the rattling. But like I was saying, Right now, they're still on sale, but I knew these would go quick, so when I first seen the sale, I ordered a dozen of these right off the bat. Just KVD 1.5, Gizzard Shad. That is my go-to. I mean, I, I lose one of these every time I go, on average. So I wanted to stock up, especially for half price. If I didn't say that yet, they're half price. They're like $3.50. They're normally, I guess, around 7 bucks. And I think usually you get like 10 or 15% off when they go on sale. So for half off, like I said, I got a dozen of them. But uh, I went to the store a couple of days ago and I wanted more um, in different colors, but majority of them were sold out. And really the rattling wasn't even online a few days ago. I guess they were all out. But I keep checking like every hour and they keep putting more on there. Silent too, if you guys want some silent ones, more of those as well are coming up online, but they were pretty much out of stock as well. But um, I wanted some 1.0s and rattling um, as well, but they haven't come back in stock yet. And like I said, sale ends today, so I'll keep checking throughout the day. But something to keep in mind, if you want some KVD um, crankbaits, all of the KVD crankbaits are 50% off. Killer, killer deal. So we got, yeah, we got four, eight, yeah, we got 12 of those. Like I said, for as much as I throw it, for as many as I lose, I cannot pass up that deal. So a dozen of those, I guess we can stick with the crankbaits. Next we got, this is a brand new trap here from Bill Lewis. I think when they first came out, they only had them in 5 8 And that was a bit too big for me. You know, I don't know if I show the color. I'm sure you guys know what Gizzard Chad looks like. But there is the color there. Just a, just a great looking Chad pattern. That black back. And the pearl side Chad dot. This is my go-to. All right. Already has the, no it does not, yeah it does, I thought it did. Got the, if you guys can see that there, a little piece of paint in there, can't swivel it around. Anyways, you guys can see that, it's an oval, maybe you can see it, oval line tie on there, which is what you want. I never swap the split rings on these, so they're solid. But the hooks, I do like the um, Mustad Triple Grips, size 4, is what I'll run on these. So that's that. Okay, the lipless, again, this is a new one. I think when they first came out, they were 5 eighths. That was a bit too big for me, but they now have a 3 eighths available. So I picked these up. This is the Bill Lewis 
hammer trap, 2.5 inches, 3 eighths of an ounce. Open up a few of these for you guys. Where's my blade? Where's my steel? Alright. Gotta have the Red Craw this time of year. I say this time of year, I throw Red Craw all year just because it shows up pretty good in that muddier water. But that's a good looking craw pattern there. Digging that one. I do believe those are Mustad triple grips on there. I do believe. Yeah, Mustad, Mustad triple grip hooks. Those are probably, that's probably size four there. Size four. Good looking, good looking craw color though. Like that one. It is called Fire Craw, of course. And then we got this color here, Strike King has. I really like this color. This one's called Oyster. Oyster. Yeah, great looking color there. Really like that one. Oyster. Okay. And we got, I like this one too. This is a great shad color here. I think I have this one in one of their uh, diving crankbaits. I don't remember the name of it at the moment. MR6, maybe it's called. This one is called uh, Silverado. Great looking shad pattern here. Kind of got your black back, some green flake in there. Of course, your pearl sides, shad dot, great shad imitator there. Of course, you guys can hear those BBs in there. Okay. So it's not a one knocker. It's got all the little, all the little BBs in there. Okay. And then, of course, you had to get some chromes. We got the gold black splatter orange belly. Had to get a gold, and then of course I got me a me a chrome, and them should cover me. I mean, if I can't get bit on these colors, then uh, as usual, the bait sucks, or it's it's my skills, one or the other. So I have plenty of colors here to cover me. In any situation, any water clarity, any conditions, one of these colors should work. Really like that orange belly on there. Well, gold does really well for me. I think it shows up a bit better in that muddier water. And of course, you got your chrome. Great on a sunny day. Get out of there. Of course, you got your chrome. I think it's a black back. They have a blue back as well. Just got the black back. The black back chrome. Again, great on a sunny day. Great shad imitator there. But yeah, I really like that. That 3 8 size, that 5 8 like I said, just a bit bit too big for me personally. I'm not a huge, huge bait guy. Maybe I should be, but I just I don't have a lot of confidence in the, in the bigger baits. Okay, the Evo. Seems like every time I go, I pick up a new Evo color. Man, I really like these. I haven't caught any fish on them yet. But man, everyone like loved the jackhammers. And if you guys watch some of my later videos or earlier videos on um, the jackhammer and bladed jigs and all that. I mean, I liked it. I got a bunch of them. I throw it. But I always always preferred the shock blade from Mikasa over it. Okay. And this one here, though, I'm telling you what, I like this one dang near better than both of them. You know, the deal with the jackhammer, for one, build quality is, is perfect. You know, it's fantastic build quality from the skirt, the hook. I mean, you name it. Great build quality. But it starts up right away like as soon as you throw it out you got immediate vibration so if you're throwing to like a lay down or whatever okay whatever you're throwing to as soon as you engage the reel handle and start reeling you got vibration you're not throwing it out reeling it and then like 10 feet later you got vibration and you're already past the strike zone right so you have instant vibration with that jackhammer but that's the same thing i noticed with the with the uh, the shock blades you know I guess that's why I wasn't as impressed with the jackhammer because I was already throwing the shock blades for years, loved them. And to me, I didn't really notice a huge difference with the jackhammer. To me, it was real, I mean, I know they say it hunts and all that, but to me, it was kind of speed sensitive. If I'd reel it too fast, it seems like it would blow out. Again, that's just my opinion on that. But this one here, man, 
I, lo I absolutely love. I've only thro thrown in a few times, haven't caught any fish on it. But dude, the build quality is fantastic. It starts up right away, dang near half the price. Like for right now, me, this is like my go-to bladed jig. Like I, I love it. This color here, this color is Bama Brim. So a gill imitator there, Bama Brim. Really, I think the only difference, painted blade there, I think really the only difference is the hook. You know, that jackhammer's got more of a, a stouter hook to it. So if you're around, you know, uh, bigger fish, heavier cover, things like that, you're going to want that beefier hook. But, dude, for me, where I'm fishing, this hook here is more than enough. But me personally, again, haven't caught any fish on it. But just as far as, like, how it fishes, to me, I, I personally like this one better. And, of course, I love the price much better as well. But, yeah. This one here, the Evo Killer, 10 bucks. I got my first handful of them on sale over there at uh, Tack Warehouse for 8 bucks. That's even better. But yeah, anyways, great bladed jig here. If you haven't tried them, definitely try them. A 3 8 Bam Brim. I let my wife pick out a trailer for it. I'm not sure I'm digging this trailer. I like the trailer. I'm not sure I'm digging the color. I have a trailer from Six Cents. I think I'm going to put on there. It's going to match perfect. I don't know the name of it. I found it the other day. And it'll be perfect trailer for that. But the old lady picked out the mayor in Shad. I already had Gizzard Shad. And uh, she picked out this one. She goes, oh, that match is perfect, Jim. It's okay, babe. I'll get it. That's exactly how I said the story. Okay, babe. I'll get it. Anything else you want to pick out, I'll get it too. This is the full size. Even if I don't use it as a trailer... For that bait, it's a great chad imitator. Again, I do have the gizzard chad already. This one doesn't look much different, and they're not really going to notice any difference in colors in my water. But still, it's a great looking color there. You guys tell me, is that a good match? Well, I guess it is. <laughs> I guess it is. Good job, babe. It does look actually uh, pretty good. So we may put that on there. I typically don't toss boot tails on my bladed jigs, but we will give this one a shot either as a bladed jig trailer or just a, a ball head or a swim bait hook, something like that. But that is the Mayer Colory Shad, and I believe it's the, the, yeah, the four inch, the bigger, bigger one there, four inch. Then we got some grubs. I'm looking for some better grubs. I got uh, the Kitek, which I think are going to be my go-to. Love the Kitex. <laughs> Haven't used them yet, but I mean, they. Love the Kitek brand, and those look solid. Um, picked up some Zooms the other day. That's your typical Zoom. I mean, some of them look good. Some are deflated looking and all that. You guys were saying something about, um, uh, what was the brand? Um, can't think of it now. They got grubs. Can't think of the name. Um, oh, dang it. And I got some of them. I can't think of the name of it now. Anyways, I went there. Had, all, had these same colors picked out in that brand, and half of them were like flattened. Same deal. Like you know what, these ain't gonna run true on the on the uh, on the swim jigs and all that. So I just went to the the Bass Pro brand. These are the Bass Pro Bass Pro XBS uh, single tail grub, five inch. They have a I guess it's a eight up eight up scent in them. A black and blue. We got a green pumpkin. We won't take them all out. Black and blue, green pumpkin. We got a white ice, and we got um, pearl truce. These four here will cover pretty much any swim jig I'm going to throw. So, bluegill, you know, to your or the green pumpkin to your bluegill colors. Obviously, black and blue to your darker colors, and then your whites and your chartreuses. These two here, we'll get her done. Take out the pearl truce here. Really like this one here. I can't think of the name of that, that grub. This is a nice looking grub. I mean, it's a, I know it gets kind of blown out with the ring light there, but it's just a, um, it's like a char, what do you call that? Pearl? Pearl truce. It's kind of a pearl chartreuse color. We'll take out a black and blue one so you guys can see those a bit better. But a nice grub. I probably am just sticking with these. I don't know why I can't think of that. That brand.
Yeah, these are nice. Those are nice. Perfect. All the bodies look like rounds. They're not deflated looking. Tails look good. I mean, it's, that's a good looking grub. This will be my, probably my go-to grub moving forward. Just pick up a pack of each to try. But um, I'm digging them. So like I said, black and blue, uh, chartreuse, pearl, and green pumpkin. That will cover me. And then one of the last baits we got in here. That's something I looked at at the store, like, nah, I don't want them. Then I got home, like, you know what? I better order those because they look pretty killer. These are the XBS, and I think they have a full version, like, craw of these, but these are the chunks. The XBS 3-inch craw diggy, craw diggy, craw diggity, craw diggity, craw diggity, craw junior. I think it's what it's called. But uh, Bass Pro brand, look killer. One, two, three, four, five, six pack. I think these were... Five bucks on sale for four. So I picked up four colors here. But we got black and blue. They got a black and blue. That one shows up well with the ring light. Really all these shows, I don't have any any white colors. But it's a good looking, a good looking craw here. Got plenty of body there to thread on your jig. Be great for a little finesse jig or even a full size jig. Plenty of body there. Looks like uh, those claws should kick pretty good. But man, I'm, I'm digging that. I walked by them a few times in the store. I'm like, man, why am I not getting those? And I walked out without them, came home, ordered them. So that's the black and black and blue there. Here's a green pumpkin, uh, sapphire blue. I like a black jig, sapphire blue. We'll show these couple to you. Alabama crawl. Got to have my orange. Bama Craw. I mean, these are really, really nice looking. It's the Bama Craw, which is a green pumpkin. Green pumpkin there. Green pumpkin orange. Really like that one there. Kind of my go-to. Like I said, guys, the sale is still going on uh, today. Today's the last day, so if you guys want to save a few bucks, man, head over there, pick a few things up. I believe everything I got, the grubs were not on sale. Usually all the Bass Pro stuff's on sale. But all the crankbaits were, the Crush City stuff was, Evo was not. The lipless crankbaits were, these were on sale. Here's another color here, uh, Fire, oh, Fire Pumpkin. Fire Pumpkin. Which is basically a green pumpkin and red. I probably didn't even need to get this color. Just because with my water, they're not gonna be able to tell the difference between the orange and the red, I'm sure. Probably just could have got the red. But normally what I do, that's nice, I like it. Normally what I do though is I just get a green pumpkin. That's why I also got a green pumpkin, which is right here. Normally I just get like a green pumpkin color there. And then I just use uh, JJ's Magic and I'll dip the claws in chartreuse or you know, I'll make up a red, something like that. They got my thiolate. Yeah, green pumpkin, claws dipped in chartreuse is killer. I do believe they had, I think they call it a summer, summer crawl, they had that color as well. I figured I'll just get the green pumpkin and just dip the claws. So guys, that's really all the, all the baits there. And I got one more thing, which you guys have been asking about, all right? So I picked up one, got a good deal on it, all right? That is a Bass Pro Reel, okay? If you guys have been around for a while, you guys know for years all I used was Bass Pro Shops Reels, right? Love them. To this day, I'm sure they're still great, right? I used them for many years, even Bass Pro Shops Rods. That's all I used, love them. And you guys asked why, why did I stop using them? I mean, there really was no, like, reason, like, it wasn't that they weren't any good. I mean, they're, they're great. They were great rods and reels. They're what I started out with. My first bait caster, I do believe, was the Rick Gluns. They were like a matte blue finish. And I got real clean videos on that reel and the Pro Qualifier, which should help you really clean any reel. Definitely check those videos out. But, uh, yeah, the Rick Glunn was my first. Then I went to the Pro Qualifiers, which I love. Awesome reel. Still got a couple of those. 
And then I went to the, the gold Johnny Morris Signature Series reel. And then I think they changed them to black. Got a couple of those. And they still actually have the Signature Series in black. And, um, but like I said, you know, nothing was really wrong with them. I'm sure they're still great rods and reels. I just started trying other brands, like, you know, like Daiwa and whatever, and love those as well. And I kind of went down that road. Once you go down that road, it's like, <laughs> there's so many different options there. And I like trying new rods and reels for reviews and all that. So, I mean, I just started trying new things. And I guess you could say I kind of forgot about the Bass Pro gear. Um, but you guys have been asking about me reviewing Bass Pro reels. So I picked up, this is the Johnny Morris, the Platinum Signature Baycast Reel. So first, I'm going to get one, just get the top of the line here. This one is originally $230. On sale for 209 and then I did the real trade in I had an old reel I think it was a PC phone spinning reel I traded in so if you trade in an old rod and reel you get a certain amount of money a certain a certain amount of money off your new reel it just depends on the price of the reel and I believe with my trade in I got another 40 bucks off this reel so I got it for like what one 170 something like that so I figured you know what's pretty good I go and pick it up and do a review on this reel but I got the 6'8". You guys know I'm a six-speed guy. I got the 6'8". Pretty versatile reel. I can do pretty much anything with it. From spinnerbaits, cranking, Texas rigs, jigs, you name it. Kind of a happy medium. But uh, yeah, this is the Platinum. The Platinum Signature Series reel. And I tell you what, first impressions, uh, it feels fantastic. Like I said, they still have the Signature Series. Which, it's actually a bit bigger than this reel. I was looking at that one as well. But I like this one, how it felt in hand better, so I went this route. But uh, nice looking reel here. Again, Signature Series 6.8. No, Platinum Signature Series in a 6.8. All right. So we'll do a review on that one. Good looking reel, though. I've always loved the Bass Pro reels. Great reels. So pretty slick there, man. 6'8". Feels, like I said, fantastic in hand. I'd imagine the review is going to be pretty good on this one. Like I said, I've never had a bad experience with Bass Pro Reels. They are awesome. Especially when you get them on sale. Johnny Morris, man, he does it. He does it right. Well, guys, that should wrap it up. Bass Pro Shops Spring Classic. I may end up getting some more stuff tonight. You just never know. We'll do another video. But um, I'm telling you what, check back. Keep checking back on Bass Pro website for more of the, the crankbaits. Like I said, I think right now they only have, I think they only have in rattling like this color or like the chartreuse left. That's all that's left. But like I said, the last couple of days there was nothing on there. So as they get them in, I guess they're putting more on online. But as soon as I see the 1.0 on there, I'm going to grab a bunch of those. As long as they're on there today, I don't want to pay, obviously, full price for them. But for $350, man, you cannot beat that, all right? Guys, I'm just rambling on now. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. I know you guys love the unboxing videos. If you guys are still here, man, show me a fist bump or something down in the comments. I love to know who sticks around for the entire video. That's really the best way to support the channel. Just watch the entire video. You guys are awesome. You know who you are. I love you guys. Appreciate you watching. If you like the video, smash the thumbs up. We will see you guys on the next one. Love you.